up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is coach coco and i love volleyball so much so my channel is filled with tips tricks hacks and anything you could ever need to know about volleyball so i am here today to do a video that i haven't done in a long time it is what's in my volleyball bag Ooh. what's in my volleyball bag it's been a while since i've done this this previous year, I have been playing volleyball, but coaching ever so much more. So if you've ever wondered what's in your coach's backpack, you might see some things in here. So let's get right into it. many volleyball bags throughout the years it's like several several and I've done many different volleyball videos in which I talk about what's in my volleyball bag now this volleyball bag was recommended to me by a client and I have to say that it is great and this is the second time I've ever had a volleyball bag that is like a backpack form rather than like a gym bag form the one thing that I am happy about with this backpack with is that it opens from the top rather than the back because now I can just reach in then reach out and like I said I've been doing a lot of coaching so a lot of the stuff in here it won't even upon you but a lot of it will so the first thing that I have in my volleyball backpack and it's all stacked up the first thing I have in my volleyball backpack is my speaker I like listening to the music I don't know about if you like listening to the music, but when you play at like a higher level recreational level, people always forget music or they don't have music or you wanna play with friends. So that's why I have a speaker and this one just clips on so I can take it on the go. So I always have uh, my speaker. So that way, you know. So the first thing was my speaker. This, this is necessary. I have a ball pump because I don't like playing with an extremely flat ball or or a ball that has too much air. You are not gonna break my finger because the ball is overinflated. I will take air out of that ball. So that's why I have this ball pump and it's really easy. And usually, typically they all use the same nozzle. So I just keep this nozzle on and I slip that in. Safety is always a priority for me. Henceforth, why I have this uh, first aid kit to protect not only my body, but other people's bodies as well. You know, you got the band-aids in here. You know, you got the gloves for safety. We got some bandage with some neosporin. Look, if you fall and scrape your knee around me, I got you, because I'm oh, always oh, safety prepared. Safety first. Next, I have sunscreen, and I use the Neutrogena Beach Defense. Uh, the reason why I use this Neutrogena Beach Defense is because it helps with sweat and it's water and sun and it has a high SPF. So I like keeping the high SPF and you guys have seen me use this before. I like the high SPF because I need it to protect me because I cannot reapply all the time. But I sunscreen the heck up. When I say the heck up, I sunscreen all the time on my face all, my, all the time, all the time. So sunscreen, please take care of your body. I recommend getting a good sunscreen. You need it bad. You need sunscreen, bad. The next thing I have is same thing. This is a CPR mask. So this is one of the CPR masks because I'm CPR certified. Okay, I wanna make sure that I can save your life if somebody happens to fall or you know when I'm coaching somebody, safety is always important to me. So this actually goes with the CPR kit, but this is just a um, CPR mask that you know inflates and is able to give somebody mouth to mouth. Okay, I got the bug spray because, you know, we play outside sometimes and um, unfortunately, I'm that person where the bugs come after and uh, I got to protect myself. So um, I have the bug spray. Then I have a whistle. This is not your old, this is not your old school PE jumpsuit whistle. This baby is powerful. It has different tones. You press the button. I'm not gonna press the button. You press the button and it just strikes fear into your heart. I don't know if you've ever seen an electronic whistle, but this is my electronic whistle. I've had it for about, I've been using it for a couple years now. It's great, you know, especially during times of, you had couldn't blow into the whistle, so I have an electronic whistle. Then I have some hand sanitizer. And I, you know, I like the ones with the flavors and whatnot. So 
I don't even say flavor like you're gonna taste it. Don't taste it. Um, I have the hand sanitizer like uh, with the scents. So I have a little hand sanitizer to protect my hands. I got a lot in this bag, y'all. I have my volleyball binder and this is just things that I keep like client notes. If I coach with you and I work with you, I keep client notes here. Then I keep my coaching plan in this beautiful openable with pens, openable uh, clipboard. So I can keep pens and stuff like that and I don't forget it. The best tool that I've ever had, honestly, in all of history was this microphone. This microphone allows me to coach clients and not have to like yell across the gym. You shouldn't be yelling, but yell across the gym. You simply turn it on and your voice becomes amplified like this. This is one of the greatest tools that I have ever had. And it is so helpful because it allows me to get my point across without having to yell really loud for people to hear me. So this is something that if you are a coach, this is great, great. Um, I have this, the thermometer. This is back in the day when we had to go and go, nah, 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 nah. you're good. But I have the thermometer. Make sure your temperature is right. Then um, I have a, a charger, some chargers. I have these really cool things that I got on Amazon a while back in which it is a talking mask. So you actually put them under your mask like this and it allows you to talk in your mask so your mask isn't sticking to your face. Look y'all, I'm telling you man, this is all safety. You see that Coco is just winning on this safety. Dang, you can't even tell me nothing. Okay, in this front pouch, this is really cool. The front pouch is insulated so you can put food in there. Like, like you could put food in there. I don't have food in there. I have more sunscreen, sunscreen for my face. I have some chapstick. Uh-huh. I have some business cards. I have, I'm just going sunscreen crazy. More sunscreen just in case. And then this cute little pineapple. And it's hand sanitizer on the bag. Back in the day, she used to light up, but she doesn't anymore. And that is everything that I have in my volleyball coaching backpack. Now, everybody's volleyball coaching backpack is completely different. My volleyball bag has looked a lot different. If you can include my volleyball shoes, they're downstairs, but I have my volleyball shoes included with this. I used to have a volleyball bag in which I would put my volleyball shoes in them, but I don't have that kind of bag anymore. But now I just carry my volleyball bag with uh, my volleyball shoes with me um, instead of putting it in my bag because I realized it's kind of germy. So I stopped doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope that everything that you saw in this video, it gave you some, some just some suggestions of things that you might need to think about adding to your volleyball bag, taking out of your volleyball bag. I definitely recommend getting some band-aids or some kind of safety materials because it's always important to be safe. That is something that is very helpful and then will take you really far. All right, I hope that you like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.